else um, that I need to revisit anything else for uh, that we covered today. Um, or is everybody good? Is anybody need any extra support right now um, <laughs> before we conclude? Um, I don't think so now. I mean, what I really value is your feedback and support as each thing gets presented um, and the ongoing stuff, which keeps the momentum going. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Queen Gina. <laughs> and as no, always, it is my pleasure. <laughs> it's uh, incredibly valuable. Thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. And she's kind of shared some takeaways and values in a sense. So anybody else want to jump in on that? <laughs> uh, always value. I, I try to communicate that daily, things that oh, I'm valuing with you. It. You know that. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate it very, very much. Very, very much. Um, I just want to make sure, you know, like during this time, especially before we close out, because pretty much getting into the next call, things are kind of going to change a little bit. So, uh, and then, you know, there'll be the support and stuff, of course, throughout the, the chats and um, then our next group dynamics that we have for a five day, uh, another five day challenge, which is what, about another two weeks away for, yeah, for that, because actually the next high end challenge is going to come after we do uh, the podcast, either pre-show or podcast feature uh, with Samar. So I have a question now that you say that. Um, mm -hmm. For us, you know, I know Rob is probably in that boat too, like with myself, is, you know, um, needing to, wanting to um, facilitate these mastermind exercises and challenges and get them going and to manage our time. Um, they're all important. Yes, uh, I want to get them all done. But if, if you had to pick like your top priorities to have ready um, by the end of the month, what would be the ones that you would say, hey, for us to be ready to go forward, you at least need these things in place? Or does that even relevant? Uh, okay. okay, hold on a second. Let me, because you started breaking up. What is this oh. on my end? This is it's my, uh, and the reason why I know that it's on my end is because when we've had some other calls and I would say you're breaking up or somebody's, but when I go back and listen to the recording, it's it's a it's clear so it, it must like I said then it must be on my end. Um, so repeat the last part. Um, I have I want priority. to yeah I, is there okay so I want to fulfill the challenges you know I'm be, I'm behind or I'm going at my right timing but behind mm -hmm. and and if you were to um, want to prioritize anything of it of things so far to have ready by the end of the month at the very least. Is there anything that comes to mind to you to say, hey, you know, at least have these things ready so we can, you know, leverage those in our August and, and so forth? Well, I'm, okay. Well, it's a little too, for me, I can't speak about the upcoming challenge. Uh, so, so um, because that's going to be something that we'll be completing. No, no, about. just the things we've done so far. The things, yeah, so the things far, that you've done so far. Where do you want us to be by that next challenge? Is there, I mean, I mean ideally all of it done, but let's say that we're trying to get caught up like me and Rob are, and I don't know where Gina's at, but yeah, is, I do. is there priorities to make sure we have done by then? Yeah, I would definitely say um, your high-end offer. Even if you okay. don't have a blog series or so to, uh, uh, yeah, you don't have the blog series to kind of be able to articulate that because that was part of the challenge. Having that high-end offer and definitely having either a publication or an audio, um, and it could be a simple audio, you know, uh, ready to go for sure. Um, of course, you would make a, a LinkedIn article or so around that, but if nothing else, the high-end offer with a LinkedIn article definitely needs to happen um, because when we do the podcast series, now I don't know for sure if we'll be able to do this when we actually are doing the podcast with, uh, with Samar or not because it's really going to be about just directing people to either LinkedIn or to your uh, primary website. But what we could probably do is maybe provide him with links to special offers or so, but maybe not be able to share them, you know, during the show. 
But if we are then just doing our pre-show, so to speak, then we, you definitely want to have those offers ready for that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And of course, if anybody needs help with higher development around those, um, then yeah, you know, we're looking at maybe something to, to make it easier for some that already have some high-end uh, offers in place, it may be that they get revamped or, um, or you may have them and then you're just leveraging it. Like Queen Gina actually has repositioned uh, hers because she has what, two VIP days and now an accelerated uh, program for her enlightened leadership. Um, is that correct, Queen Gina? Yeah, so there's the, the two VIP days, there's the Enlightened Leadership 10-month program, and then there's the Accelerated Program one-on-one -on -one with me. Yes, well, outside of the, I'm sorry, like outside of the, the, the long one, um, yeah. more yeah. of the shorter format, yeah. because that's kind of what, yeah, you want this to is focus a, on. This is a three-month Accelerated one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. Is everybody still here? Yeah. Yes. I am. <laughs> Looks yes. like everybody's still on the list here. So okay. All oh right. wait, Tom. Tom has dropped off. Okay. I, okay. I, I, this may sound crazy, but I I, I I didn't feel like everybody was still here. That's why I asked. But <laughs> but um, maybe he just dropped off. You know, I don't know. But okay. So yeah. So the, the higher priority definitely, like you say, would would be to you know to have. To have that um, for those who don't have products that I mean publications with I'm going to be working with Rob on his his publication publication because he actually has submitted the forward for my publication and it is wonderful it's perfect for um, you know for the publication so I'm going to be excited to get that uh, you know completed and, and ready to come out so that he can be official. <laughs> um, I'm excited about all of these. I still awesome. have Queen Renee's. Uh, oh, yeah, you got on that, too, when you came back. So I appreciate <laughs> that um, you very much. But we got to get you with some product products, you know, for sure. Um, yeah. And even if it is a seminar, so speak, and even like, you know, something even for you and King Joseph, um, you know, too, is coming up with something that you can do a quick recording around you both can either interview each other so that can be a product too i mean there's a multiple um ways of things that you can do to get you know some energy moving and to have some simple stuff and, and like i said these don't have to be you know um fancy projects or, or, or products they can be um ones that are easy just to download or if you operate by um, the old school email list if someone if you advertise it with an article and someone um, it wants to inquire about it then you tell them the email and then, then you just you know send them the PayPal link and the uh, the mp3 format or however whatnot if you're not doing it as you know kind of a digital download on a particular site uh, gosh there's just so many ways to do things that um, you don't always have to do it like I said the traditional way um, but, These are the know, ideas I, and the brainstorming I look forward to, actually, because I, I do have some material. Oh, definitely. And like I said, I can... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I, I just think that I, I, I have lots of opportunity to reposition some of what I have existing. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, the things that you're doing and some of the other ideas uh, are, are things I look forward to discussing. Okay. Yeah, that, that will work. Because this is certainly that time. And since, like I said, too... Um, you, you, you don't have a publication, so like I said, we're getting, you know, getting that done, and that actually is part of the five-week challenge. Um, Joseph has a publication, but he doesn't have uh, any type of uh, audio products, but he also doesn't have, he doesn't have publications related yet to the mound-building concept. So, because um, he has a curriculum that's on Amazon. It's Maximize Your 365. Um, and... Uh, but he needs, and we already have the development ideas already for the publications that need to come forth uh, in their simplest, simplest format. But it's a matter of just getting them out because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you all is that in Queen Renee, well, all of you probably have heard me talk about this, but Queen Renee and I have had 
more conversations around this for sure in, in terms of this is where it is extremely vital when you are looking to serve the masses, all right, because you're higher in works and, and all these different things that you but that is not for everyone. That, that's what's going to allow you to be able to not only um, do less, serve, uh, how can I say, it, uh, charge a higher fee in a sense, um, and not have to do as much because the higher up you go in this space, it's, it's the requirements are different. The level of people that you're dealing with, um, they're very highly accountable to themselves. Um, it's just really like retaining you to, to be there. But they may be paying you a significant amount and may not hardly even use you for a whole lot of different things. You have to be you're comfortable with that. But it's security for them because they know that they can you know, they can call on you because it's like once you get them set up with certain things, they're off and they're working that. So it's going to take them, you know, time. Um, there can be check-ins and different things. But the thing about serving a lot of different people, this is where the products come into play. This is where um, short one-off events and different things come into play, seminars and things of that nature. But mostly, like I said, the products and publications, that's how you serve the masses is with those because it's not going to be a whole lot of people, like I said, that are going to be ready for your upper level work. Um, mm -hmm. But these VIP days, go ahead. Someone's going to say something. Well, I, I was just acknowledging my breathing. Sorry, you, you, but you caught my thought in my head. I was going to wait till you're done talking um, to share is on a smaller scale. No, go but, ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Well, on a smaller scale, I want to share, um, particularly like with, uh, I know Joseph is aware of this already, which I love hearing Joseph's voice too. Um, <laughs> Robin, Robin Gina, I want to share that I'm seeing this already taking place. Um, Ali, Nicole, and I have talked about this, that uh, some of my clients, you know, with, with the coronavirus had to take pauses and whatnot. But what I found is I put the energy out there that when they re-engage, which several of them already have, um, that they were going to rise up, that I want them to rise up. And I also looked at my own accounting of what I need to charge for my value and I've increased my fees. Yay. And I've also increased my profit because I am mm -hmm. allowing them to come more in the space and me stop dipping down and doing work for them, which is preventing mm -hmm. you know, their ownership or their growth. And I found that some of my clients that I didn't think, you know, that might not survive some of these challenges in their environment actually are the ones that are pushing themselves and they are actually proving to me and mm. checking in with me and proving that that they're worthy of of the coaching and i've had some of them you know over the last year of course and some of them longer than that but mm -hmm. it's been fun to watch and there's a couple that it's time for them to go in their own cocoon and build with their stuff mm -hmm. and they're not going to come back on my new energy and it's okay and that i actually think that's a beautiful for mm. me that is so healthy it's making room for those higher and clients like she was just mm -hmm. describing who are ready, willing to do the work. You don't have to do as much work. You get to be more in your gifts. Mm -hmm. And I am experiencing that the last, this last month. And, mm. and, um, they're wanting, like, can I have your time? Can I pay for your time? What can we, you know, they're, they're wanting to engage and I'm catching myself to be a, a better coach in that way of, mm. of, I serve. I love serving. I'm so kind and so generous. But I found that my over service was impeding. And then I was doing all this extra work to ensure they were rising with me instead of just letting them own that and come. And if they don't get the assignment done, they don't get the value. I, you know, I'm encouraging. I mean, what I'm finding yeah. is that now because of that, they're doing the work better and they're, they're proving to me that they're a better client and it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And and I charge one of my charge an extra 3000 yeah based on what I already quoted him, I said, no, I'm going to work with you, but I'm realizing the value that you're going to wow. get. I'm going to bring in because of that. I actually need to increase your fees. And we already had a contract to do. And, and you know what? He's gone willingly and I'm excited. Mm, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, I want to share that. It's work. Yes. It's working. Congratulations. Absolutely. Brilliant. Oh yes. Yes. Thank you. I just want to say that for encouragement for you two, that it, you will be able to raise your fees with your existing ones that are ready to raise with you. And it's, it's exciting. Well, I look forward to it. Yeah, that awesome. is phenomenal. Awesome. And mm -hmm. new ones coming along. Oh yeah. You all, if you hear me 
coming in and out. I'm sorry, and I'm not meaning to cut anybody off. It's just I'm hearing certain things in bits and pieces. Um, so I'm just clarifying that. But no, that is. I'm so glad that she shared that because that's really important. Um, because like I said, yeah, it is in. If you want to get into this higher space, um, and like I said, you get into the higher space and you are serving um, a certain clientele. You, you won't have to really have as many, so to speak, or do as much work. But where the, if you want to call it more of the residual or passive income, I, I just like to put it all into the active state. But I know some term it is, is kind of the passive, the lower hanging fruit. Um, if you want to play media chess with the lower hanging fruit and position a pawn as a queen, um, then that's where the product the digital products and the publications come into play. And also you can use those to lead into high-end activities. But if they don't exist, then they can't, you know, you, you can't serve the masses like that. Because you trust me, you're not going to be able to serve a lot of people. Um, and you all are meant to serve a lot of people. It is just very categorized in the way in which you're going to do it. Um, and, and so, like I said, you'll have some where they're going to enter into maybe a retainer focus with you. Some are just going to enter into uh, a mastermind experience. And I'm not encouraging anybody at this point to do masterminds that are long term. They, they really need to be uh, events or acceleration processes. So if you are going to do a mastermind initiative, it does not need to be over 90 days at this point. It, they need to either be uh, a mastermind event that can be in the form of a VIP day with a mastermind, um, you know, addition to it or a weekend or a week or a month. Um, but I would not encourage at this phase to do anything over 90 days. If anything, you may set them up for something longer. This is where it comes to going back to even Queen Gina and how even though she has the 10 months uh, program, which is a program like I said, people enter into, but she has actually now sort of condensed that to do an accelerated version. And even though the other one exists, and she can still be enrolling people in there, but the focus is to get to the lighter model, to get to okay, doing the VIP days where you can charge more, um, and you know, either choose to serve a cohort group of people um, or just do the one off, you know, so to speak. But yeah, that's a that's a lighter model to be able to get that done. Because even if you did one a month, depending on what you charge for it, I mean, you can be pretty set in a certain area. And then if you have products that are also being kind of your residual residual income mastery effect, then like I said, then that's other streams and sources of income. And then if you do land a big catch, um, and that's really kind of the core focus that the next challenge is going to be leveling you all up because your communications and your writings and um, the high end voice in the moment is going to lead into yeah, really getting these big catches. Obviously, you can be getting them now too, but just from a more intentional base, um, you know, in terms of with a gravitational pull, I should say, um, when you are stepping more into that higher end expression through communications, then yeah, that's going to really change the game. But meanwhile, going back to what Queen Renee was, you know, just saying around the higher priorities, um, it's going to be different, like I said, for everyone, but I definitely, we would be focusing on having those high end offers. Um, yeah, those high end offers ready, but you do at least need some type of lower hanging, something that can really lead into that. The free articles are so, it's, they're good, but, I honestly would wish uh, or like for everybody to at least have a product that's going to be leading into these higher initiatives. 